Gmail has a brand new look and extra features and you can switch it on today. This is another flipped classroom tutorials. That's right, today you can start using the new look on Gmail. Now simply go into any Gmail account, this could be your personal account or your G Suite account. Click on this little cogwheel in the top corner which is your settings bar and click on try the new Gmail. Now if you are in a G Suite account you will have to go through your admin console to activate this but if you check out the timestamps in the description below you will see that that will be discussed in this video. Now you are welcomed with welcome your favorite email has a fresh new look and as you can see it is a very sleek clean look. Now material design pops out. First of all, the things that you will notice is that there is a new design of the Compose button. Your domain's logo has been moved to the other side and when you click on that you can switch between different accounts which is very easy to do. Now the feature that I probably like the most about this new look of Gmail is that it has full integration with add-ons, tasks, keep and calendar. So when you click on your calendar an extra window pops open and your calendar is opened up. Now you can also click on keep. This will pull in all your keep notes and you can open up tasks. Now tasks is also a separate application now for mobile. So before tasks was just this tiny little side project within Gmail, it is now a fully fledged standalone product similar to keep and you can download it but more about that in another video. So what else can you do? If you've used Google Inbox instead of Gmail, just like I have, then you will be familiar with some of the features from Inbox that have lured over so many people. And the key feature there was snoozing an email. Now you can see that this has now been brought into the standard Gmail. Now the other buttons will be very familiar. You have a delete, an archive, and then here we have mark as red. Now this could be compared to the different buttons that you have in your inbox. So we have mark as red, deleting a message and archiving is the same as the tick in inbox. Now when you open up an email, you can reply to this email by simply clicking on reply. Now in some cases you will also get some suggestions as to what you want to reply, similar to the mobile version of Gmail. Now when you are in a message, you can easily respond back to the person that has sent you this message. Now when you're composing a brand new message, so let's go ahead and click on compose. And when you click on compose a new message, you now have the option of using a template. So when you click on template, it'll pull up your templates built within Gmail. And you can have your own templates, themed templates, or you can have some of these pre-built templates by Gmail. So let's scroll down and select one of these templates. Let's go with the bookworm template and we're going to open this template. And there we go. We now have a beautifully decorated template for our newsletter. And you can start editing this, tweaking this and send it to whoever you would like to send it to. And that's it for the new Gmail look. Now as new features roll out, I will make updates on this channel's community tab. Now as you can see, I'm in an educational domain and for me to have access to this new look, it has to be switched on by the admin. So let's go ahead and dive into our admin console. Now once you're in your admin console, there's again two ways to get to your Gmail. You can either click on apps or you can search for Gmail in the search bar. Now I'm going to click on apps I am going to select the G Suite services, then I find Gmail and we're going to go into our advanced settings for Gmail. I'm going to click on advanced settings, scroll all the way down and here you will see an option that says new Gmail early adopter program. Now this is where you can switch it on so you can allow the users access to the new Gmail user interface and features. Now once you've switched this on it'll probably take about 20 minutes for all your users to fully get access and they will have to refresh their browser. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comment section below which feature you like best and are you ready to make the switch to this new user interface. I will see you in another video and thank you for watching.